What's up everybody? Welcome back to Old Volks TV. Today another shop day, another tech video. Uh, we are working on the bus again, trying to get all these upgrades done that I've been wanting to do for quite a long time. Um, everything leading up to putting in that giant fuel injected motor. Uh, there's a lot that goes into putting a big motor in a bus, uh, more than just doing it. You need to be able to stop, so we got the brake thing going on. Um, transmission, eventually we're going to get in there and do some stuff to that to beef it up a little bit. One of those things is the Wolfgang mid-mount. Uh, this grabs onto the front of the transmission. Yeah, front, by the nose cone. Uh, and just basically keeps everything from twisting, keeps anything from moving around there. Those front mounts, that little piece of rubber, you know, basically holds all the weight of the engine, the transmission, everything. It's got those little forks back there that kind of cradle it a little bit, but all the torsional movement uh, up towards the front when you go over bumps, when you get on the gas pretty hard, that's what this is going to take care of. Uh, it's got these great solid rubber pillars that go up inside the frame. I'll show you how it all goes together. Bolts to the nose cone, just kind of triangulates everything, keeps it super solid. Uh, so we're going to put this in there. A lot of the Shasta guys that I know run these, they swear by them. A few of the guys around town here, Matt, Gary, uh, those guys swear by them too. They always put them in their buses. So finally going to get one in mine. Uh, then we're going to put the brakes on later, get that big motor in there, and you know we'll really put this to the test and see how it works. Uh, but for today, just this. So we'll uh, climb underneath the bus, and I will show you how to install Wolfgang mid mount. Come on. Right here we are under the bus. Um, looking at my transmission we're gonna do these four nuts off here and then we're gonna replace those studs with these bolts from the kit uh, nice you know, gold it look awesome um, I haven't cleaned this this is actually how it came this bus man I love this freaking bus it's so nice everything is so clean uh, so all you need to get these off is a 13 wrench and a 14 wrench that's all you need for this install and <clears throat> we're just gonna pop these loose man look at that man i love this freaking bus man uh and then we have to double nut the studs to get them out i don't know if any fluid is gonna leak out of here i'm really hoping not i guess uh what we could do is uh, do one at a time, right? No, I guess we can't because then we can't put the uh, can't put the bracket on. So we'll just hope for the best. So I'm gonna pull these off and pull those studs out with the double nut method. Um, if you don't know how that works, you're gonna have to YouTube that yourself or try to learn it in hyper fast motion uh, because I'm gonna switch the camera to super fast so you don't have to watch me well, these are coming off pretty pretty nice you know what we're gonna we're gonna do one so you just put a double nut you see yeah. So you put 113 on that nut, and you put 113 on that nut. Ooh. Probably put the thinner one on the bottom. Let's try that. There we go. And you're just tightening one nut against the other. And then you take the outside nut. And if you did it right. That stud's going to come out uh, because the nuts are tight on it, so the nuts can't spin. So it has the oh, I didn't do it right, and I lost a nut. <laughs> okay, it's tricky. It's tricky because there's not a lot of threads sticking out on this little guy. Um, it's going to be barely enough to grab. Didn't 
have them tight enough. You got to get them pretty tight against each other. <clears throat> Can't tell if that thing's coming out or not. They can't get any tighter to each other, so nope, it's not coming out. Oh, yeah, it is. These things are pretty excessively long uh, because they go all the way through to the other side. This is basically what's going to hold the nose cone to the bus or to the transmission, rather. I remember these things are like two inches long. Lots of threads on the other side. Hey, look at that! So one down, <laughs> three to go. And I think this one, for whatever reason, is already a bolt. I've seen it this way, and I've seen it where it's a stud and a nut. Um, I don't know why they did that. Somebody knows why. If you know why, put it in the comments so everybody can be enlightened. I don't know. There you go, one bolt. Uh, we still can't use that one because we need them to be longer to uh, hold that plate on. All right, I'm gonna skip to super fast, get these other two out, and then we will come back and I'll show you how to get it all bolted on. This is only gonna take us maybe 20 minutes. Uh, this is a really fast install if your bus is clean. If you got all kinds of crap and crusty stuff in here, you probably spend 30 minutes getting it cleaned up. But I'm lucky with this one, this bus is super clean. So I'll get them out and we'll come back. Okay, a couple things that are important and a couple things that I do differently uh, than I guess what the instructions say or whatever. Uh, first of all, what's very important is this ground strap. Uh, you want to make sure that you reconnect that uh, and you got to make sure that it's clean because this is the ground for your motor and your, you know, your transmission and all that. It grounds everything to the to the chassis. So you gotta make sure that that goes back on that bolt. Second thing, and this is where I differ from the instructions, is I'll back a stud out just a hair. I mean, it's still in there all the way, just enough to where I can get a nut on it and get that plate on there. Because it makes it a little easier when you can just set that in there. And you need to pay attention to this. These are not the same. So when you put this on there, you want to make sure that you got it on there the right way. See this way? The holes don't line up. So you want to make sure now all the holes line up. You can just check that. You can stick one of the bolts in there and you know kind of hold it. So put our ground strap back on. If that's in bad shape you're going to want to replace that too. Um, didn't stick out far enough to do what I wanted to do. I don't think it came out enough. That ground strap's holding it. There we go. So I'm gonna use, they didn't give me any nuts for these um, and I think 
I guess they just figure you can use the old ones. Um, let me get to that one next. So I'm just gonna use the old, the old nuts that were on there. And then you just sort of get these started one by one before you tighten anything down you kind of want to get all the bolts going this way you're not uh, you know you're not going to misalign something or cross thread something you know they should all start by hand and then you give them a little tug make sure that they're started you know and then that thing is a booger That one's gonna be a pain because of that ground strap. It's a harsh angle <laughs> trying to get up there. Everything's upside down and backwards. All right, there we go. I put my hat back on. You guys don't see my Corona haircut. And then you get your 13. I like these ratchety ones. Uh, they're just so much faster. Okay, now, the next pieces are these, the uh, rubber blocks. These are awesome. This is a feat of modern technology. If you see, it's kind of hard to see from both sides. It's at an angle here, and this is at an angle here. The higher side is toward the back of the bus. And right up here, it's a snug fit, but there is a hole. Get in there. I gotta get in there to see it. Right there, there's a hole. And this will go, there we go. It's a snug fit, but that's on purpose. And right on top of this, that bolt popped through. And then you put your other 14 millimeter on the top of that. And then once those are both in, uh, we put that plate on the bottom. And it bolts here with 14s. And then we tighten up, you know, tighten up everything. We'll have to tighten up these before we bolt it on there. Uh, but we want to make sure that we get everything kind of lined up first. And then we'll take this plate off and tighten these up. And then bolt everything back in for the last time. I always put the hardware on before I start just so I know which one goes where before I get stuck underneath the bus. So we look at it again, the high side goes towards the back. That's pretty much all the way, all the way in there. It's a little harder when you can't see it. There we go.
There we go. We got everything in. We got everything nice and tight. And remember to do that top bolt, which you can't see because it's super dark up there. And I got my ground strap attached uh, here and up there. And all our hardware is in. It's nice and tight. It's good. It feels solid. Um, you got to make sure that the rubber on these, you know, that they don't get sort of twisted in there. They shouldn't really because they fit pretty tight inside the frame here. So, you know, once they're in there, they're in there pretty good. And then, uh, you know, set these all to good and tight. And that feels pretty solid. So we'll go back up top and take her for a ride. All right, there you go. One, uh, one mid-mount mounted in the middle. <laughs> uh, worked out pretty good, man. They, they engineered that thing to fit just right. Everything went together super easy. All the hardware was in the bag. A uh, little bummed out that it came beat up, but that's not their fault. That's just, you know, we had a bad bag of hardware that popped open in the box, so not a big deal. Uh, it doesn't affect the function of it at all, and, uh, you know, we got it all cleaned up in there. It's solid. Uh, I'll take it for a ride, but again it's dark uh, so you don't get to come I uh, did that on a school night you know took me mm, I had to fiddle with that one bolt on the top a little bit that had the strap on it so it took me a little longer but it'd be all the way in probably about 45 minutes not too bad uh, you can order those from Wolfgang I'll throw the link down in the comments below I think I talked to them maybe a week ago and it made it all the way out here to Texas, you know, with all this stuff that's going on. Got here pretty quick, uh, you know, so those guys, they don't mess around. You know, they know you need your parts and they work hard to get them right out there. I'm a Wolfgang guy. Got the Safari windows, got the mid-mount now. Got a couple other things I'm going to get from them uh, to help upgrade the bus. That's it. If you want stickers, get at us. TexasOldVolks at gmail.com. Uh, check out our friends and sponsors. Leave us a subscription or leave us a, a comment down below if you like what you saw, you got something you want to see, hit us with a comment. Uh, hit this little subscribe button over here, ring that little bell right there. Check us out every Saturday uh, at oldbolts.tv. Get your fresh content, figure out how to fix your car. Thanks for watching. <laughs>